Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining us today. My name's Joe and I'm from Electric Kicks. Uh, today we're doing a video on installing the rear suspension for the rear monorim suspension for a 9 bot Max. first step is we need to get rid of this mudguard, get this out of the way. So I'll be using a heat gun just to heat up the pad so that I can peel it back a little bit, not all the way, and just uh, expose the Allen keys, Allen bolts there that I need to remove. There we are, that's gone. All right, fantastic. Next, uh, we want to expose the, the nuts that hold the wheel on. So we want to pull off the reflector and then get to the little Allen bolts under that. Next we need to remove the motor. Okay, so now I've moved the motor. We just want to pull the motor wire power cable out a bit. We are going to need some length, so just pull it slowly, but not too far. And then have it resting on the bench. So just pull this out, pull this cable out lightly, not too fast. Just give it, a, get maybe about four or five centimeters extra out of it, and then rest the motor on a table so it's not hanging on the cable. Next, we want to remove these two screws. There's a black strengthening plate inside here. We don't need them. So we just want to remove them and get rid of them. So these plates, they're no longer needed. So next, we'll need a drill and you'll need to use this. This comes in the kit with the monorim. So we need to make a couple of the holes bigger here in the scooter. It's where you need your drill. So the first hole we drill, we're going to go to the largest and, and drill right through. Um, yeah, so now we're going to drill three holes um, on each side. So this hole here, we're going to go the largest possible. And then the next two holes, we're going to go to a number four on the drill. Oop. So as I said, in the next two holes, we're going two steps in to number four. So we're stopping at the number five on the drill. Do the same on the other side. All right, it's our holes drilled. So now we've pulled our mud guard off, we've dropped the motor, we've drilled all the holes we need, so now we're moving to the suspension kit itself. So the best thing to do is separate, we've got to pull it all apart.
first thing we do is put the shock on. Uh, it anchors to the same point place the mud guard did. That goes there. And then we get these four black bolts that came in the bag with the other spring. Time to put them on. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is make sure that the spring that I've got in the shock is correct. The one that comes in it is for people under 75 kilos. Um, and the, the one that comes in the bag is for people over 75 kilos. So I'm just going to make sure I put the correct spring in. All right, so just putting the other spring in. Now look, always a good idea to grease them, otherwise they can make some noise. I've already pre-greased this and thrown some grease in the shock. All right, fantastic. Now next, we need to put the brackets on where we've made the holes. So we've made, made the holes because we've got some brackets going on it. So we're going to pull them off. So these are the brackets. We need to separate them. sits like that, this one sits like that, and then obviously we're doing the same to both sides. Fantastic. All right, so now we've got the brackets on, separated the suspension. We now just have to put these in here, as you can see, in through the bearing, and tighten up the five mil Allen keys on the back of both of them. Makes it easier later. Tighten them up as much as you can for now. We'll come back and tighten everything later. That's it. Cool. All right, now that's on. Now we want to put the first swing arm on. It just slots on. Five mil bolt. There we are. Beautiful. All right, so now we've got one swing arm on. We're going to now mount the motor and the wheel before we put the other side on, because that's the only way it goes together. Slots in like that. And then you'll need 18 mil socket. One does come in the kit, so you can do it. That's it. Now that's on, I don't tighten anything up till the end. Now we've got the motor on, now we can go to the other side, mount the motor and the front swing arm. Now we've got the swing arm on, you notice that I haven't put the nut on for the wheel. I'm going to leave that till after because at the moment we still want to get inside here because we need to put the mud guard on as it sits in a little groove. And you'll see that. Okay, we've got that on. All right, now I've got the mudguard on. Now I'm going to mount the shock. Anyway. Okay, now the shock's on. Now I'll mount the last wheel nut.
And that's nearly it. Um, I'm going to now go over and tighten everything. So starting with the wheel nuts. This is really just about double checking everything. Um, some things have purposely been left loose, so we want to make sure that everything is tight. So, the monorim uh, suspension is now on. Now we've just got a rear mud guard, which has the little light, and some plastic caps. All that stuff comes in this bag. Okay, so first of all, we need to put the mud guard together. So we've got two of these little brackets that need to go onto the mud guard. Now, we just need to put this on the, ca on the scooter. And, uh, There we are, mud guards on. Uh, we just need to put some caps on over our wheel nuts. They just clip on like that. Then some other caps over the front swing arm and just on top of the swing arm. Now, one last thing and we're finished. Obviously the rear light. Um, a beautiful thing Monorinum have done recently. Originally you had to wire up the old light and it was a little bit time consuming. Um, but they've now created this nice stick on motion sensor light. So all we have to do is peel off the tape and um, put it in. Fantastic, now the last step is because we've changed the geometry on the scooter is getting the clip to work so that you can carry it. All you need to do is pull the screw out and twist the clip as high as you possibly can, then re-drill another hole. So now that's drilled. I'll now put the screw back in. In the, in the new hole that I've drilled. And that's it, fantastic. Now that will catch the new clip.